So I've had a few requests about doing a bike check with my dirt jumper. So, all right, let's do it. So the first question you might have is, what is a dirt jumper? Put it simply, a dirt jumper is a hardtail mountain bike for riders who want to do BMX tricks. That was four tries. These kind of bikes are supposed to be dead simple so you can abuse them without having to repair many parts. So there won't be anything in this video that will blow your mind. It's a pretty simple bike and it does the job. The frame I'm using is a DD Street Sweeper. You might notice that the dropouts on this bike are horizontal and not vertical. One of the things that horizontal dropouts allow you to do is run one single gear. Usually, mountain bikes have a derailleur to soak up any slack in the chain, but here we can use the horizontal dropouts to make the chain line longer or shorter to do that job. But that does lead to a number of issues. Sometimes you can't tighten your wheel enough, so when you put power down through your drivetrain, you might actually tweak your wheel sideways. Now normally you can use chain tensioners to do that job, however, I found that my dropouts were too short for a chain tensioner to work properly. So to counteract that, I took an old bolt and cut it down to size. After filing it down and removing any burrs, I was able to fit it in between my frame and my axle. And this would prevent my wheel from getting tweaked when I pedal hard. Now the parts on this bike are not in the best shape. Oh yeah. But considering how hard I ride this and how little I actually maintain it, it's not holding up too bad at all. In fact, I haven't replaced a single part on this bike since I originally built it. And that includes the grips which have seen much better days. I should probably replace these grips one of these days. I have replacement grips, but... And that's generally how I feel about dirt jumpers. With how much time and effort I put into maintaining my other bikes, it's nice to have a bike laying around that you can just grab and go, even if that means it's not going to be in the best shape. Quite often, actually, I don't run brakes on this bike. In general, dirt jumpers are supposed to be dead simple, and this cable, just kind of gets in the way, but at the same time, it is nice being able to slow down when you're about to hit something. But one of my pet peeves is when the rotors are rubbing the brakes. So currently, these brakes aren't terribly effective. They'll slow me down, but I can't stop on a dime. You will also notice that on this bike I put taller riser bars. That's so when I go to do turndowns, my leg won't get caught between the bars and the frame. The tires you run on a dirt jumper are usually pretty smooth. These tires are the Kenda Knipschen, or however you say that. They don't have a wire bead, so any hard impact from the side, they come off the rim. But that's what you get when you buy cheap tires. For extra weight savings, I like to remove the valve cap. Well, that's not true. I just hate putting them on because when you go to pump for your tires, that's just one last step between you and riding. As you can tell, this is a pretty basic bike, but it's really fun to ride. And despite its condition, Having fun is what really matters, so that's the way I leave it. So yeah, that's my dirt jumper. If you have any questions about the specific components, I'll have a link to that uh, down below. As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today, Now I'll see you guys next time.